A really quick video on measuring your infloat on your crankshaft. Um, if this is bad, then you have to replace the washer. There's a couple of videos on how to do that already, um, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to measure. So I've already got the radiator out, which makes it a lot easier. And I've got my gauge set up on the bulkhead down here and I have it zeroed. Let me get this as close as I can. So zeroed, what I do is I just take a pry bar and put it here against the end and we're gonna apply pressure to it and see how much it moves. So I've got right around eight to nine thousandths, which is in spec. Let me reset it. You can reset it just by pushing on the And we'll check it again just for grins. So I'm still getting anywhere from eight to nine thousand. So we're good. I think spec is anywhere from eight thousandths up to fifteen thousandths. So we're good. Don't need to replace bearings. So, anyways, quick video. Hope that's helpful. See you later. Okay, really quick, I was wrong on the measurements I just talked about. So crankshaft inflow when measured off the crankshaft pulley is 0 0.006 to 0 0.008. So this is right at the end of its life, I guess. It's it's just almost out of spec, but not quite. So I think we're going to go ahead and replace them anyways. Well, we got the car up on the lift and it needs an oil change. So may as well do it. All right, so we're pushing forward with the getting the thrust washers removed. Got the oil pan out, uh, wasn't too bad. If you don't have an electric ratchet, you might want to get one for this job because there's, I think it's 23 bolts. A little tedious, but with the electric ratchet, I got it out pretty quick. Um, doesn't look like it was leaking too bad. That's there because I was draining it into the bucket. But it looks like probably a little bit of an oil leak there, which makes sense with some stuff I was seeing, but other than that, it appears in good shape. So we'll get back under the car. We'll get the the uh, other parts out and then I'll show you guys the thrust washers and we'll take some measurements. So here's what the underside looks like if you're working from under the car. So here's your crankshaft, oil pump. We're gonna remove. So this is the end of the engine. Transmission's right here. We're going to pull out this bolt and this bolt, and this part should come out. And the thrust washers are just behind it. Actually, I think maybe. No, I can't see it. So, I think it's a 5 8 socket. We'll get those out and then keep on trucking. Playing from Dan's iPhone 2. All right, took a second to focus, but. This is what we're dealing with. The first thrush washer uh, was right there. And the other one is right there. So you take a little zip tie. I already got the first one out. Sorry, it's not focusing very good, but. You can see it coming out the side right here. So right there is where it's, sorry, let me see if I can get a better focus. So that's it right there. So take your zip tie into that groove and you'll see it starting to come out right there. It only goes to a certain amount and then you have to rotate the crankshaft to get the rest of it out. So we'll have to do that off camera. All right, so now the thrust washers are out. I've measured them and they're both 0 0.091. So I'll have to get new ones, maybe slightly oversized to bring that gap down. One way to tell if these are originals is if they have that marking on it 
right there. I don't think it'll focus, but this one's pretty pitted, you can tell. It's got some uh, big old chunks missing from it, so it'd be good to replace these and get it all back together. So it'll be a couple days until I can get the new ones, but we'll keep going. So I made a little bit of progress. New thrust washers are in and new oil pump. Um, this one measured much more in spec. The other one was out by a couple thousand, so this should be a good upgrade. Um, I like to not to change engine bearings um, for a number of reasons, but I think if I was going to do that, it probably wouldn't have done anything. Um, so we'll keep moving on. So I also put a new starter in, got it from TS Imports. Um, it's one of the gear reduction starters. The other one was working okay, but I figured while we're in there, we may as well. Um, very simple hookup on the older car. You just hook your white and red wire to the black wire that runs into the loom there. And then of course your power is simple. Um, there's only one connection for that. So it's about half the size of the old one. Like I said, the old one worked okay, but it was nasty. So figure do it while we're in there. So got the oil pan all cleaned up, came out pretty good. And I was able to knock that dent out in the bottom with a piece of two by four. So pretty flat, good enough. Then I threw a coat of black paint on it just to make it look good. So we will, Get her mounted up in a car here. Well, first I'll put some sealant on here, then put the gasket on, then we'll put her all back together. So, oil pan's back on. That was a little more tedious than I anticipated. But, got everything torqued down. It's all looking good. Fits flush, so. Should be good. Just as a little thought, when I went through and torqued all these, the torque spec is 15 to 20 foot pounds. So I marked them all with a Sharpie every time I did one. So I wasn't sure. And then went back and double checked them all. So should be good. We'll keep moving on. All right. So this is going to wrap up the video for the thrust washers. But unfortunately, I couldn't show you being installed. It was it was just too difficult to do and fall into the car. But um, so we'll check the inflow again with the new thrust washers. We're right at about 4,000s, between 5,000s. Um, I also overpacked it with grease, so which is why I think it's off a little bit. But we're worth in spec. 0 0.005 is about the minimum amount you want. Um, 0 0.006 to 0 0.008 is within spec. So um, we'll start moving on to the fuel injection from here. Uh, I'm still waiting on a water pump to be rebuilt. Um, so we'll get the carbs and everything removed and an intake manifold and Go from there. So stay tuned for the next video. That'll be the fuel injection and get the cooling system all back together.